what the oil and gas industry does is important to the economy, not only to the nation but the world. The public is almost ignorant about what we do. The Offshore Energy Center is all about teaching about the oil and gas industry. We have three initiatives, the first being the Ocean Star, the second initiative is our Hall of Fame, and our third initiative is our Education Outreach Program. The Ocean Star was an operating drilling rig. This particular rig was built in 1969 and was retired sometime in the 1980s. The Offshore Energy Center found the Ocean Star in a shipyard, spent about three years renovating it and turning it into what we have now, and then opened in 1997. In addition to being open for regular visitors to walk in for self-guided tours, we do field trips, scout badge projects. We've even got an overnight camp where young people can come spend the night on the rig. Groups can come in with their own guide or we can bring someone in to help provide a more in-depth learning experience. On the second Saturday of every month, we have a standing program called Family Day where we offer free admission to all kids 18 and younger and set up some hands-on activities. The Hall of Fame is an archival arm of the Offshore Energy Center. The early days of any industry show so much innovation and acumen that they end up kind of driving that industry. Education outreach actually has five components. We have the MOLU, teacher workshops. We have our uh, traveling trunks. We have our teacher training at facilitator conferences. And we have a career fair for high school students. MOLU stands for Mobile Oilfield Learning Unit. The MOLU has six self-contained units. We take it to different schools to help educate young people that there's so much more to crude oil. You get a lot of aha moments when the kids finally figure out that this is important in their life. I never knew that crayons were made of oil. The MOLU was designed by educators and they correlate it to the fifth grade TEAK standards. Every unit has some form of STEM in it. I think one of the things that they learn is that it's an opportunity, it's a science where girls and guys can participate. Our girls have learned that girls can be land men. They're going to remember something like this far longer than they do uh, the chalk on the chalkboard. It's something they look forward to for years. Even when they're little, they walk by the gym door and they peek in and they anticipate getting to participate when they're older. Since 2008, we have had over 800 students and also some staff members here on our campus that have passed through the MOLU exhibits. And we continue to lead the district and area schools in our science scores. We feel that the MOLU presentations and all the preparation that goes into it prior to the exhibits and afterwards uh, have directly contributed to the national recognition that Bear Branch Elementary has received for the last three years for science achievement. Besides the MOLUGs, the OEC provides training workshops for teachers and we train them to use the activities that come in this box. It contain a lot of energy activities and a lot of earth science. Earth science is a component that is pretty much pushed off to the side and it's mainly because they don't have the resources. So we're providing that niche for those teachers. As long as they come to a workshop, they're able to check out our Playing with the Trolling and Kit for the duration of their career. We know there is a big need for STEM education. We know we need to grow more engineers. Our curriculum meets both the state standards and the national standards. We're the best resource that most people don't know about, and we want to make it available to all schools. Most of the education programs are free to the teachers, so we are heavily supported by the offshore energy industry. We look forward to educating future generations of oil and gas workers.